Republic to remain silent after much public outcry and presidential intervention. Stakeholders involved in the political umpires in on those states have told the parts of reason. The State House of Assembly has finally declared the State Deputy Governor, Loki Aidatiwa, the Acting Governor. The Speaker of the House, Olumide Oladiji, confirmed the medical leave notification letter from Governor Rutimi Akeridolu. Oladiji said Aidatiwa would take over the responsibilities of the governor in acting capacity until there is a written declaration to the contrary. Now, in line with section 190 of the Night and Night Constitution, as amended, let's hear from the speaker. Fifth letter of uh, transmission from Executive Governor to His Excellency Loki Urimisa Hidatiwa. I've received the letter, so my duty now, you know, is to. Uh, to give instruction to the clerk of the house to put up a letter of approval of which I'm going to approve and then we forward it to the SSG. Jide, and finally, the House of Assembly today formally declared Lokia Iratiwa as the acting governor of Undo State. Yes, the, the horror show is over. <laughs> Uh, at last, um, no state deserves the sort of um, terrible and debasing politics that we've witnessed in the last few months. Governor Akredolu has been on perpetual medical leave seeing headlines suggesting that um, he's going on medical leave. He's been on medical leave long before he even traveled to Germany. And since he arrived in September, he's been on medical leave. So don't tell us he's just going on medical leave. He's been on medical leave. The only difference now is that the person who by law should function in his place was not allowed to function. They came up with a threat of impeachment and all that, accusing him of things that he did not do, things that they cannot prove. You know, you're talking about gross uh, misconduct. misconduct. Gross misconduct should even be apparent to a layman. Mm. We can't see any misconduct. You are, you are just playing politics. Everybody wants to succeed a man who is ill. Instead of Focusing on how the man will get back on his feet. You know? Now it has taken presidential intervention for the rubbish going on to end. To whip them the, to the president intervened the first time. Mm. They go back. As yes, I see they, did this, they, they did not implement they did what own. was agreed. And we mm. started reading diff conflicting accounts mm. of what transpired. Mm. I mean, what is the point in getting a man? To sign an undated uh, uh, resignation letter. letter. You know, it was all to make them feel comfortable that there's no need to proceed with impeaching this man. That he has agreed that he will not dissolve the ESCO and that he will not uh, uh, change the leadership of the House. In spite of those, uh, the steps that uh, the man took, mm. in in spite of the commitment that I made, when they got back to Ondo, they, they were still their Mr. old Mr. selves. And, people. and then reports of forgery, forging of the governor's handwriting, forging of signature, confirmed after forensic analysis by even a sitting commissioner. That's what prompted the president to say, ah, this thing is getting out of hand. Out of hand. And then... With the EFCC already um, um, inundated with uh, those stories, the president had to intervene again. You can imagine the president who had a busy day. He was attending the uh, chief of army staff uh, conference in Maiduguri. He came back that same night, came back in the night, and still had to meet with politicians who simply chose not to do the reasonable. This is what the law says. The law is clear. Now, the law does not even need 
I mean, it is once it is clear that you can, you are traveling, yeah. you are going to be away for a number of days. Mm. You are supposed to transmit power to your deputy. Once it is clear that you cannot function in your capacity as governor or even as president, yeah. the natural thing is for your deputy to step in. So, uh, did it not happen uh, um, between Buhari and uh, uh, Shibajo? Mm. Shibajo took over. So, it's just, it's just the power play, the battle for succession and all that, that led us to all this. The state has lost tremendously in terms of uh, governance. Mm. It's the people who have lost. Mm. But now that the deputy governor has the opportunity to to do the work hopefully hopefully they will be able to slow down the 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 generation that is like, because when a governor an active one at that mm. cannot function it will be so evident to everyone that ah this man is not at home we are not seeing the governor because he like to personally supervise his projects and all that you see him and he will we get angry with contractors. You see, it is the kind of governor that Anson. you cannot uh, uh, take things lightly with him. You have to, if he gives you a job to do, you can be sure that he will be on your neck until you deliver. That's the sort of governor that is. But unfortunately, illness mm. has wills that he will not be able to function, function. effectively. You know? But right now, all that we want to see is for the acting governor to get down to brass tacks, do the job, take control mm. of the state, mm. don't be afraid of anyone, yeah. be faithful to your conscience, yeah. do what is right for the state. Show leadership right now. Show leadership. And charge. You've been given the, the, the mantle of leadership. Mm. Show leadership. Don't be scared of anyone. Because at the end of the day, posterity will judge you. Yeah. If we go there and simply fail to perform, you will be judged. Okay. No one knows when the uh, governor will, will return. Yes. So you have to be focused so, on the job. And, um, yeah, Emeka. But I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about that on data resignation letter because uh, the, the, the speaker stresses it so much. So what it means is that um, there are still some schemes to make sure that the deputy governor, that the acting governor now doesn't perform very well. The new budget, the budget for 2024, will have to be presented. How will they go about it? There are a number of things that have to be done. And then I think... Well, in this place, as I think of now, it will... Yeah, be. I hope they will allow him to do it. I hope they, they will, will not... To. I hope to. they will not... You know, because it, it's clearly shown from the utterances of some officials of state government has shown that they are, they, are, they are really up in arms against the acting governor. And I wonder how they'll yeah, be able to work together. But I think that the meeting of a lot of those things... The the addressed by the implementation of the day before yesterday. Mm. You know? Because if they will sit up. The man, the, Nigerian oh, politicians, you the, thing, you, the man are very funny. The president was very angry with them. Brother. He showed his anger and told them to go and do the needful. And you could see the, the, the speed with which they responded. So they could see that look, this man was no longer going to take that's the person that could win what was going on. Mm. You know? Initially, the first meeting was, okay, let's try and make peace. Let's stop this impeachment. Although the courts had even stopped it. They had reached a dead end yeah. because the, the, they were, the deputy governor went to court and the, the, because of the uh, fact that he went to court and the uh, interlocutory injunction that he got, the CJ refused to set up a panel that would look into those allegations. So without those, um, without the panel being set up and those allegations being looked into, mm -hmm. you the cannot power. proceed with the this. impeachment process. So they were already at a dead end. Yeah. Mm. Legally speaking, they were already at a dead end. And that was why they were pushing that he should, he should withdraw the matter from court. He should mm. withdraw the matter from court. Mm. You know, after the president intervened, he withdrew the matter from court. So it's no longer a court matter now. Mm. That was the first time, but. They still continued to not let him Perform take, take charge, you know, until this last, 
why are they, is it just now that we are hearing that Akredolu is going back to Germany? Mm -hmm. I said something here that if they truly love this man, they should be focused on how he will recover. Yes, why did you even... I, I eh? think a protest was even being planned for uh, tomorrow. Yes, it should be focused on how do we get this man to tomorrow. regain his fitness, uh, it will be well, instead of the, the nasty politics being played here and here. Yes. Now we are saying, oh, he will be focused. The statement said he will now be focused. He will prioritize his health. Mm. Oh. All right. <laughs> what are we, what, so, so you didn't know that he should it's prioritize his health. Uh, we must have priority before. All right, we'll take this break. When we come back, we'll talk more. Stay with us.